here we are. Sky Tower Peak. Is this the top floor? Who goes there? Who dares to trespass upon my airspace? That voice. Could it be Rayquaza? Indeed I am. The sky is my domain. Depart at once. But we don't have time to argue. We came here because we need your help. This song is unnerving, by the way. Never. I am a being of the sky, and you are but denizens of the ground. To each there is a world destined as their own. For hundreds of millions of years, never once have I descended to the ground. And the opposite shall also hold true. Let there be no mercy for those that defy the laws of nature. Prepare for the end. Here we go, final boss time. Rayquaza. Same strategy as always. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, susceptible to status conditions, so go ahead and use those. Um, attract at least. Um, weak, quad weak to ice because, you know, it's flying and dragon, so go ahead and do that. Um, but I treat it as any other boss fight because it really is. It's just, he hits harder. Um, he's not like the final boss of Mystery Dungeon 2 where he's you know, renowned for being super difficult. Um, but uh, anything you have here, definitely go all out. Um, he can be frozen. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, use anything that you have, any super useful items that you've been holding onto. Maybe some seeds or something. Go ahead and use them here. Um, don't hold back, as Rayquaza said himself. No mercy. So yeah, it's it's definitely a tense fight because if he get he has ancient power, he has ancient power. So that's and I think he might have agility. So it's dangerous. Anyway, there we go. Down he goes. What? An earthquake? It's not possible. We're on top of clouds. These are shockwaves. And they're huge. That's it. I've got it. Look straight up, Rekwaza. Yeah, now that big-ass meteor is coming straight for us, so... Yeah, that's not great. What is that? It's a shooting star, and it's enormous. It will destroy the world if it continues on this path. That's why we came, Rayquaza. Please, destroy the falling star. So that is why. Yes, please hurry and destroy it. Before I try, I need to know your, your resolve. The star has come too close. If I were to lose my hyperbeam here, you would, not you would not escape unscathed. So, we accepted that from the start. Well said. Also, take charge of your destiny. Not to ruin the moment, but I did just notice that uh, instead of when he said lose, it was spelt loose. So that's strange. Anyway, we died. Is this a dream? No. This is no dream. Yes. The star's explosion swallowed me, and I'm now adrift as a spirit. What's going to happen? The shadow. Gengar. <laughs> Why, well, didn't take much to put you down. Serves you right. Now, what to do with you? I know. I'll drag you into the dark world. That'll do it. Gengar is dragging me. Gengar said he would drag me into the dark world. What is the dark world? Am I going to be abandoned in the world I don't know? Huh? Darn it. Took the wrong path. 
What? This isn't like me. I can't tell which way is which. To hell with this. Tech with this, damn it. <laughs> Bit too vulgar. That's it. Goodbye to you. So he doesn't drag us into the afterlife. Gengar's had a bit of resolve. Snap out of it. Huh? This place. Ugh. Regain consciousness. I'm sure of it. I'm sure back there, Gengar saved me. Maybe, did Gengar save YT too? Awesome, you're alive. You really had all of us worried. You're incredible. I'm so glad you're safe. It's fantastic. Everyone, thank you. But, what about the star? Fear not, the star is no more. They will not be right away. The disasters shall soon, shall soon be calmed. Really? We did it, Wati. Everything worked. We've won peace. This song's really nice, by the way. Again, using the uh, Sky Tower uh, motif. the greatest. This calls for a celebration. Let me shoot my hydro pump to kick it off. Oh, hold on there. Don't you point those things at me. Face the other way. The other way. No, no, no. Let it loose. You've got to be kidding me. I'll secure him so he can't get away. Oh. Not bad. What? You're serious? No, don't. Whitey. Who said that? <laughs> that quick turn is funny. We owe everything to you, Whitey, and your friends. Peace was returned to our world. Thank you for everything. And now, Whitey, your role here has ended. Soon you must return to your own world. It is time to bid farewell. It's finally come. The time has finally arrived. Whitey, I'm so sorry for this. To everyone. Please bid farewell. So we are starting to fade away. Oh, Whitey? Whitey, your body. What's happening to you? Henry. And everyone. I'm sorry, yeah, your character speaks for the first time here. It's really neat. But I have to leave. What? What are you saying? Everyone, thank you for everything all this time. Huh? Leave? What do you mean, leave? My role as a Pokemon has ended. I have to return to the human world. Unbelievable. Go back? To the human world? Huh? But why? Why? I don't understand. Why do you have to leave? Didn't we... Aren't we friends? Yes. You'll always be my friend, Henry. I'll never forget you. Don't go, Whitey. I'm blessed to have met you. I... What am I going to do when you're gone, Whitey? I'm so very sorry. This is goodbye. What a happy ending. 
for for a Pokemon game. Why did 42 save my life? But I hadn't done anything to show my thanks. Left before I could even say thanks. You're right. Just up and went like that. Why now? Why when the world's been saved? Just when things were going to get better. This was coming. Our world, it was saved by Whitey. I look back now, and bound for the sky, Whitey seemed as if resigned. Resigned to accept what was to come. I think I know. Whitey must have... Must have become a Pokemon to save us. And when... When the star was destroyed... He knew that it would be the time to leave. Why? Why didn't he tell me earlier? If this was coming... Why didn't Whitey tell me? Those words couldn't be spoken. As much as you are heartbroken now... Whitey must have felt the same pain of leaving. To try to understand Henry. As for us... What is this? I'm rising into the sky. Is this my spirit? I wonder where I'm going. Voices. I hear voices. Your friend is heartbroken. A true friend. A friend for life. You finally realise it now. If you wish, then wish very strongly. Perhaps you will meet again. <coughs> that was a terrible time for a voice crack, I'm sorry. Anyway, there we go. That's that's the ending right there. <laughs> yeah, not exactly a happy ending, very bittersweet. But that's that's what Mystery Dungeons come to be known for. Or my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon at least is very bittersweet endings. Um, I think it's really good. <laughs> Because it's very mature, it's very, very, very grown up for Pokemon, I guess. Also, this song is amazing. Um, because it has the, the, you know, the main theme remixed here. Um, and that part of the song right there, uh, I th it does play in the intro, I'm pretty sure, and on the title screen. Um, but it, it really became the main theme of the second game, um, and there it's even better. So this part here. Um, but anyway, I should probably talk about the game. I really like this game. I really like. I really do. It's um, it's very good. Uh, my biggest problem with it is the amount of filler that you have to go through, uh, just for the main story. But uh, that being said, the gameplay itself is fantastic. Um, you just have to get into the groove and sort of understands that, yes, it's going to be a little bit uh, on the repetitive side, um, but once you once you understand that and you really click with the gameplay, because the gameplay is not for everyone, but I really love the dungeon crawling and the, you know, the resource management, um, you know, once you, once you learn to understand that, it's, you know, it's very possible to really love it. Um, and so I really do love this game. I really do. It's very nice. Um, and the story is... It's a little bit disconnected, I find. Um, you know, with the whole falling star thing, just sort of comes out of nowhere. Um, it is somewhat related to the rest of the plot, but, um, you know. And, you know, the whole rest in peace of honor. Uh, and the whole, you know, running away from... Or, the fugitive section, um, it's very good but a little disconnected, but uh, yeah, anyway, overall I still really love the plot and the themes, um, but here's this, I don't want to leave, I want to stay longer.
with my invaluable. Irreplaceable friend. This part of the game I'm a little, well this part of the ending I'm a little iffy on, but it exists purely for gameplay reasons, so I can forgive it for that, uh, because we wish to stay with everyone, we were let back down into the world of Pokemon. End. So yeah, the only reason that's there is because, you know, they really wanted to have the post-game and they need a reason for you to still be around in the post-game. The story of YT42 and Henry ends here. But Slippy Nips isn't done yet. There are many rescues to be done. A new adventure begins. The legendary Pokemon are set to make their appearance. Don't go away. Don't touch the tile. Save the game, please. So, yeah, um, that ending, you know, I really would prefer if your character couldn't come back. Um, but, uh, of course, in order for there to be a post-game that um, is, you know, is canon, your character kind of has to come back. I kind of wish that the post-game was, you know, non-canon or Henry moved on with a different partner. Um, and you, you just didn't have your main character at all. Uh, and you had to form a new team because that would be that would be pretty interesting. It'd be very you know tonally consistent, and it, you know it would make you accept that yeah your character's gone. The bulletin board was still covered with rescue dog rescue job. Even though it's peaceful again, many Pokemon still need our help. Why do? Let's keep on doing our best as always. So yeah, things go on as normal, um, to a point at least. Why do? Oh hi, Cat be a Metapod. What's the matter? It's Snubble. There's something weird going on. Snubble is weird? Weird how? It looks completely different. Let's go to the square. So as you can see, there's a Grand Bull there, meaning Snubble evolved. Which means, yes, we can finally evolve. <laughs> you have to wait till the post-game to be able to evolve, so... What? You're Snubble? But you don't look anything like the way you did before. I don't really understand either. I went into the cave there and all of a sudden... What cave? It appeared without me noticing. See? Right there. So you went in there... Yup. And I came out looking like this. Snubble underwent evolution. He evolved. Evolution? Evolved? I don't follow. Pokemon, upon satisfying certain conditions, can evolve. When a Pokemon undergoes evolution, it is, its appearance changes. Oh wow! Your own appearance... that can change? I suspect that cave is where evolution can take place. This is merely a guess. Perhaps evolution could not take place before because of the world's imbalance. However, now that the star has been destroyed, the world's balance has been restored. Perhaps that cave become, uh, became unsealed. I wish. I want to be butterfree quickly. But wait a second. I don't know if I like this a lot. My cute little face turned all craggy. Evolution is not a bad thing. Appearance isn't the only thing that changes through evolution. One's power and abilities might be enhanced, for example. Oh, really? I... I might be stronger? That makes me want to evolve even more. Wish I could be butterfree soon. So, yeah, uh, we essentially just got to explain, it's, it's evolution, you know, it's the same thing as evolution in mainline uh, Pokemon. But you don't, un you can't evolve unless you go into the cave. Let's go into the cave once we're ready to evolve. The entrance is too narrow, there's only room for one, so we have to come back here alone. But how do we do that, you might ask? You know, Henry's constantly beside us all the time. Well, what we do, once I figure it out really quickly... <laughs> Is we head down here and Henry. Oh yeah, YT, wait a second. There's something I wanted to talk over with you before we go to the destination. You know how we always go to dungeons together, YT. 
but I think we'll, all be, we'll be seeing all sorts of, di of different dungeons from now on. Some will be tough even for us, so I have an idea. Instead of us running around all the running things all the time, we should let the team as a whole do it. How about we change things up so we can pick the leader and members to go into dungeons? That might mean we won't be going on rescues to certain dungeons. That would let us handle rescues better by having more Pokemon types available. Do you like the idea? So now, from now on, you can have anyone in the party. Anyone can be the leader of the party. So if I wanted to, I could just shelve these two and never see them again, and I could make Magnemite the leader and Absol the partner. Or I don't even need a partner, I could just do one. So yeah, it's, you know, you kind of expect this to be at the beginning of the game, but no. Um, so yeah, now, not only can you now evolve, but you can now freely select your team. Um, so now I just put Henry out of the party, so it's just me. Um, and I can make Henry the leader now, and, you know, go without Whitey. It's, it's kind of weird, because, you know, you're so used to these two always pairing up, and now you just don't even have to have them. Voice emanates for something. Ye who seek awakening. This is Luminous Cave. Do you seek a new evolution? Will you give an item for an evolution? Ye seek awakening. Let us begin. So because... We evolved from Squirtle to Wartortle. So yeah, we are permanently Wartortle now. Um, well, until, you know, we can be Blastoise. But uh, you can only evolve... Uh, it's based on the same conditions that... Uh, you know, what's the name? Mainline Pokemon are based on. So, we had to be at least level 16, I think. Um, it's either 16 or 18 for Squirtle to Wartortle. But uh, you have to be level 16. Um, <coughs> uh, terrible voice crap. Uh, in order for uh, Squirtle to evolve into Wartortle, and since I was above level uh, 16, I could evolve, so I did. And same with Henry, has to be level 16 to evolve into Grovile. Um, so yeah, now Henry's the leader. How strange is that? Um, but uh, yeah, now we can go and evolve Henry. So let's go do that. First we've got to kick me out of the uh, team. Yeah, it's, it's very strange just, you know, having all this freedom. Because now you can go ahead and recruit every single Pokemon that's possibly recruitable. Um, so you can essentially complete a Pokedex in this game. So, yeah, anyway. Here we go, we go from Trico to Grovile. Now, Grovile in this game is very grey for some odd reason. I've got no idea why. Like, his colour palette was never finished or something, or never added on. Um, that's, yeah, it's really strange. Um, and, but it's, it's kind of weird seeing Grovile here because he's, he's such an important character in the next game and just seeing him as, I mean, he's not the same Grovile, he's just sort of his own, it's just an evolution of Trico, really. But, of course, if we want to get to Sceptile and, um, Blastoise, then we'd have to get them to, uh, level 36 each because that's when they can evolve into him. But, uh, anyway, that's really going to do it for the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team and Blue Rescue Team Let's Play. Uh, we can go to Waterfall Pond. Uh, I guess that's the next dungeon that you can go to. I'm not exactly sure how the after game works, because I've never even done it myself, so. Yeah, uh, that's going to be it. Really, it's, it's been, a, been a fun ride. Um, very good game. Definitely play it for yourself. Uh, or the remake if you want. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. So, hey guys, it's been YT42, and I'll see you guys next time. See you guys then.